What's up guys, this is Hardik here and today I'll be showing you the best ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Grand Deus. So I made a lot of videos about the ROMs uh, for this phone and I found a clean and clear winner. So this here, the ROM, uh, I'll just quickly show you, I'll go to settings, about phone and this here ROM is called as Carbon KitKat ROM. Uh, yeah, I know it runs on 4.4.4 KitKat but it's the most stable that I've ever used. So, let me just quickly show you, it runs on KitKat. 4.4.4 and it is the most stable the battery life is good everything runs smooth here i know uh, the 5.1.1 rom the sanation mode night leaves for this device but that's not as stable i mean the battery life is worse on that uh, on the rom i've tested it for like two weeks or so and the battery life was not good but this here the battery is good the app runs smooth everything is working fine no issues with Wi-Fi or cellular network or anything so basically what you get here in this ROM it runs on 4.4.4 KitKat as I said before we'll just quickly jump into the settings here and to download this ROM and the G apps the link will be in the description below so just check the description out as well so here uh, we get here uh, is the option of carbon fibers which lets you toggle the buttons and they can see we can also enable on screen buttons by going into the um, let's say navigation bar and you can just enable the nav bar and as you can see we got the three on screen buttons these buttons work as well as these buttons work so there you can see everything's working fine i just quickly turn that option off and there you go also if you go back we have Swift device to enable options over here and we have an interface option over here where we can control the animation, the desktop and also we have battery saver mode, mode over here which will save a lot of battery as you can see it's running and I just quickly turn that feature off uh, as uh, phone becomes uh, like slower if you turn on the battery uh, saver mode but you, you can actually save a lot of battery here uh, like for example I last night I turned on, I turned on the battery saver mode on 30% and when I woke up, my device was on 25%, so that's really, really good. Um, so let's see, we'll go into the settings again. Carbon fibers, and here we get the Pi controls. I didn't enable it, uh, it's just that we can swipe from over here and we get all the options from over this side. And we can just control any app within these Pi controls. Also, power menu, okay, and we can add what all should we get here in the power menu so let's just add let's say screenshot and if you just do this as you can see we get an option for screenshot as well we can like uh, change the position from over here to over here let's see if we can do that i don't know yeah yeah okay yeah we could i guess yeah so now the sound is gone and we get over only these three options let's add sound real quick there we go and now the sound is added so that's pretty neat and lock screen is we can enable active display on the lock screen but i won't do it na right now also one thing about lock screen is as you can see i have these notifications over here these so it, it will show uh, you on the lock screen so if i just swipe over here as you can see we get all the uh, notifications on the lock screen itself we can just swipe over here to uh, to see what the notification is all about and we can swipe to dismiss the notification that's pretty neat also again going to the settings uh, we get here persistence and I exactly don't know what this is but uh, you can mess around with this status bar we can change all the battery icons and all stuff that you see on the status bar over here going back let's see you can enable dark carbon which will enable the dark mode on the uh, rom so as you can see i enabled and immediately the dark mode on the rom enables so as you can see everything is dark now including the settings so i will just turn that feature off real quick performance uh, we can i guess overclock or underclock this so the maximum is 1200 megahertz and minimum is so we can like overclock it or underclock it on our demand we can even change the IO that is input output and the governor on demand performance we can save the power but let's not mess with that uh, we can also toggle and yeah do stuff 
so let's go back into themes now this here is something like the cyanogen mod theme showcase uh, we can like install any theme I just have a holo default theme over here right now but we can like get more and we can select the play store for instance and we'll just let's see what all themes we have over here so in the play store we don't have much of themes here um, so it's basically like cyanogen mode theme store uh, but pretty pretty basic right at the moment I guess it will be updated in the next update or something but yeah we can change many features from over here going down below sound display storage storage is basic things um, like the internal storage and SD card I don't have a SD card at the moment but that's there battery life is pretty pretty good uh, as you can see I just charged it from over here but it easily runs me for two days I don't have a sim card installed but if you have a sim card installed it will easily last you for like a day or so so that's pretty pretty good uh, on sign engine mode 5.1.1 I it did only last me for like five to six hours or something so that was pretty bad but this year is neat and better last for an entire day so that's pretty good in display as you can see we have the eruptive backlight backlight wake up on plug and stuff like that apps and users just a note that uh, we don't have these many apps over here we have only few like five five rows or something uh, you have to install google apps for this also if you don't install the google apps you won't get the setup that we used to get when we first install a rom or when we first boot our device so that setup won't be there if you don't have uh, google apps installed or flashed on the device so just do that stuff and you're good to go so also download the uh, i guess it's the nano one or mini one i guess because others won't work on this so i'll be giving all the things in the description below so just check the description out again in google settings uh, we have all the basic stuff accessibility developer options also i did root this device so that's there we do have carbon updates over here so we'll get the updates as soon as it's released so it's checking for update and it says system is up to date so no updates at the moment but about the rom as you can see Carbon Dave, just visit the website or just donate to Carbon Dave, so that's there. Also, the dialer is over here, pretty basic contacts over here, pretty basic messaging, and there won't be the Google camera, there'll be this camera, but I installed Google camera for I don't know why, but I like the Google camera, so just hit and snap. So that's there. Also, the quality is pretty good, nothing is improved, I must say, but it's it's good, so as you can see over there. Uh, the best thing here about this ROM is of course the camera Oops, the camera stopped Also, if you get the unfortunately Google Play services a stop message Just do one thing, go into the settings I didn't get the message but a few people reported that this ROM has the um, error of showing this So just go into the apps And just go into all just do one thing, go into G, C, D, E, F, G, and just do one thing, hit the Google Play services, and then do one thing, just clear the cache over here. So once that's done, go into the Play Store again, and then just do one thing, clear data, clear cache, and uninstall the updates, and everything will be fine working again. So that's you have to do to. Uh, do not get the error of unfortunately Google Play services has stopped. This will also fix the unfortunately Hangouts has stopped or any other unfortunately stopped messages. So that's pretty neat. Anyways, that's been it. We get a torch over here with this ROM, a sound recorder over here. This one, not this one. Um, Omni Switch is the app in this ROM. So we can like change the icon pack over here. I don't have icon packs installed, but we can install icon packs. Then down below here, uh, as you can see, we get the horizontal gravity, so memory usage and many many features, it's a feature packed ROM so you can mess with anything that you want from this ROM over here so yeah, that's been it guys, thanks for watching this video and I hope this ROM helped you and if you're wondering why didn't I include the Cyanogen Mod 5.1.1 ROM I place it in the second number of for the best ROMs for this or the stable ROMs for this because of the battery life issues and also a few app crashes uh, on that ROM. 
So this is the number one. I know it runs on KitKat, but you, if you want the lollipop one, you can install the 5.1.1 with few issues. This here is the clean, clean and neat winner for the best drum for the Galaxy Grandiose. So that's been it. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.